Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Covered. I am Penja and welcome to Kingpins, which is a lovely, cutesy, pixel art, kingdom management, real-time strategy game, which is a bit of a mouthful, my goodness, where we do all of the classic kingdom management stuff, like grow food and gather wood and gather stone and build houses and all that kind of stuff, plus we do wage a spot of war on people too, but we have to make sure that our king, who is very, very important because he's got a fancy crown, stays alive. If the king dies, it is game over. So it really is, in essence, a classic RTS game, but it's got this nice sort of adorable cartoony pixel art kind of graphic format. It looks like it could be a lot of fun. It looks very adorable indeed. Of course, if you're interested, there is a link to the Steam store page in the video description below. If you want to go and check it out and wishlist it and whatnot, then you can do so. And we were given a key by the devs, which is splendid. So thank you devs, that's very kind of you. So without any further ado, let's build a tiny adorable kingdom. So there are two game modes in Kingpins. You can play the campaign or you can do a versus kind of battle mode. We're going to have a look at the campaign now. And then I think we might just go and have a little go to versus mode as well at a later point. But let's take a quick look at the campaign just so we know what we're looking at in the game and how it works and all that kind of stuff. So yes, this is campaign stage one, level one, possibly one, one, unexpected coup, survive the attacks. And if you look down at the bottom, you will see our little king. There is our little king with his lovely little crown on running around. So this is a tutorial level. The first one is just a tutorial. We've done that already, just gives you the very basics. So let's have a go at this, shall we? Let's have a go and see if we can survive the attacks. So here we go. And this is the map for the particular campaign level we're on. And doesn't everything just look very cute indeed? I do like how this game looks. So what's going on? It says at the bottom, our scouts have found soldiers marching on our king. Okay, that's a bit bad. That's a little bit worrying. I mean, it does sort of beg the question, why is the king wandering around on his own? That's a little bit risky, but okie doke. Your king is a unique unit that can also harvest resources. However, if the king dies, you lose the game. I was not aware that the king could actually go and do anything. That was not pointed out in the tutorial. I kind of thought the king would just sort of you know, be looking for protection from everyone else and then just running away a bit so he didn't die. But no, apparently we can put the king to work, which is interesting. Okay, that's kind of interesting. But yes, of course, if the king dies, it's game over. To prepare for the incoming attack, create a soldier from a house. Okay, so you can see in the top left, we do have some resources. We've got ourselves 10 food, 35 wood, no stone, no gold, and we are at our housing limit. So we've got one house or the availability for one sort of population, and we have that one population, which is the king. So I guess the tower here that we've got is actually providing enough space for one sort of population. So that's sort of providing for our king. And you can tell that's the king because, you know, he's got a crown on all that kind of stuff. It's a bit of a giveaway. So we can build within this kind of blue bordered area here here. That's given to us by our tower, I think, which means that we can build in this space. So we need to build a house. We need to get ourselves a house constructed. So if we go up here and build a house just here, the houses are used as drop-off points. So when we actually get people doing some gathering of stuff, they take stuff back to the nearest house. So it might be quite a good idea to get ourselves some food or some stone or some gold. So how about we get ourselves a little team of workers? Let's not get this soldier done straight away. I think we can probably do a little bit better than that. So let's get a house constructed. So that's going to cost us eight wood. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, do that, please. And if we click on the house, we can then build various things. We can train up a person, just a regular worker. That will cost us four food and take up one housing slot, which means we'll be full again. Or... We go here and we could try and train ourselves. That's a soldier, I think. But we can't do that right now because the soldiers need gold to be trained up. And we have no gold. And it's quite handy in the top left, the bit that we are sort of running out on that we haven't got enough of, uh, that goes red, which is quite nice. So yeah, that's a soldier. Is cheap, will fight. Okay. And that's just yeah, a good old peasanty worker, a classic peasant. So let's get ourselves a worker and then let's put the king to work as well. Hang on. Can we get another house down... Can we put a house just here? That could be quite handy. So king, 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 king. You know all about gold because you're a king. You know what it's all about. It's shiny and, you know, gold looking. So you go and grab the gold. I feel like you're going to be the most comfortable doing that. It feels a little bit wrong telling a king to go and, you know, chop down a tree or gather berries or whatever. So you go and gather some gold. I like how his, uh, <laughs> his approach to gathering gold is to just whack the gold or whatever it is with his kind of his staff or his scepter, whatever it is, and then just pick up the bits of gold that come out. That's very good. Um, and then Chappie up here, the new worker, we probably could do with a bit more food. So you go over there and grab those berries. But then, of course, yeah, we built two houses, so we can have another worker. So let's get another worker, and let's put that worker over there gathering some stone. Let's just try and get basic resources in of things that you know we might need. So we're getting ourselves a nice amount of gold. We'll get ourselves, I don't know how much gold exactly we need, I don't know. How much is it to build another house? 
16 wood. Oh, okay. We need some more wood at some point. Um, okay, how about, hang on. So King, yes, I realize you've done, you've done good work there in gathering seven bits of gold. Well done, well done, sire. Um, how about now you go and chop down some trees? Does he still chop down the trees with this big kind of scepter thing? Yes. <laughs> He just wafts his royal staff at a tree and it just falls down at his behest. Okay, so he can then gather some wood. So now I've got 16, so we can build another house. Wonderful. Okay, so now we can have an extra person. So it might now be a good idea to leave that until... No, yeah, we can get the, um, the soldier in now. Two food, two gold, and a housing slot. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So we've got ourselves a soldier. Yay, let's move the soldier over there. Also, create a ranger from a house is our next goal. Okay, so we're going to need to build another house. That is going to take quite a bit of money. Yeah, uh, not money, wood. It's going to take quite a few resources. So we need some more wood. So I think maybe, in terms of food, we're okay. So you, food gathering person, stop doing that and go and chop down some trees with the king. You know, mind your manners while you're chopping down those trees. Um, and then the guy's gathering stone. Do you need to be doing that? Can you go and gather some wood as well? Because it seems, I think we've already got, we've got six stone. We've not seen a use for stone just yet. So let's get our three people just gathering lots of wood. Because that's what we need. And then, yeah, then we need to train up a, can we see what it takes to get a ranger? We need four food, six wood. Oh, we're going to need more than the 20 wood to build an extra house. Because we're going to need another six wood to train up a ranger. Okay, so we've got the food. Yeah, it's just a case of wood. We need... 26 wood and we've got 12 so there might be a little wait hopefully hopefully the uh, people that are coming to kill us are gonna you know wait a little while maybe they've gone in for their tea or whatever <laughs> yeah they've gone in for a light snack a bit of brunch or something i don't know and then um yeah by the time they come out from that maybe maybe we can get our extra house in and then get our ranger deployed as well okay so we've got 24 wood so let's get the house into place there we go so the house goes down and then we do not need too much more stuff we need i think it might be coming in now actually Okay, yeah, there we go. Let's get a ranger. Survive the attack. Oh, crikeys, they're coming in already. Okay, right, so you go and attack, and you go and attack. So the warrior can go in and do some fighting. The ranger is brilliantly lobbing kind of bows at them, which is wonderful, as you know, rangers should be doing. And we are chopping at these baddies down here. I think, I think our guy, one of our soldiers just died. Our soldier guy just died. Hang on, can we deploy another one? Can we train another one up? Yes, we can. Okay, right. There you go. You're in it. Oh, hang on a minute. Where are you? Can you get down here and chop at this guy? Choppity chop. I think the tower in the middle was firing arrows as well. So we lost our two original units. We trained up that extra one, which would have been fine. But yeah, the um, tower was firing at people as well. And there we go. Blue Kingdom wins. And we get a lovely sort of slow panning shot of our teeny tiny little kingdom just there. But, uh, but yeah, there we go. So that is campaign level one done. So the next level is the other king. And the simple description is just beat the other king. Okay, nice and straightforward. Let's give it a go. The neighboring king was behind the attack. It's war, take him out. Ah, this is interesting. So there's another king down here doing his own thing. Ah, right, we should possibly put our king to work. Right, yeah, go and grab some gold. That sounds like a good idea. Grab some gold. And then can we get some, uh, yeah, let's get a house construct. No, don't walk over there. I didn't mean to do that. Um, get a house constructed. Uh, ooh. Oh, we can make other things now. Okay, this is interesting. We can make ourselves a farm, an infinite slow food source. We can make a tower for shooting arrows. Ah, yes. Okay, useful. And a workshop for creating cool things. A knight academy. Oh, that sounds brilliant. A magic guild for training mages or a house for population. They are sending somebody our way. We possibly might want to get ourselves a bit of defense in just there. Um, right, hang on a minute. King, run into the corner. You, go and fight this guy. Go and fight him within range of the tower, because the tower is helping. The tower is firing arrows. So yeah, this is quite useful. This is quite useful. I think the guy's going to be dead. If we could kill him really soon, that would be grand. I still think he's chopping at us. Nope, there we go. He's gone. Right, let's deploy our guard guy down there. Um, and then, uh, your majesty, get back to grabbing us some gold, please. And then we could do, with another house... And then let's train just a good old worker. And then you can go chopping some wood. So you go grab some wood. In fact, King, can you go and grab some wood as well? Because we've got an okay amount of gold, but we can't build any more houses. We can't do any more houses right now. So we might need to just build up a little supply. How much do we need for another house? 
Um, hang on, come out of that. Um, it's 16 wood. 16, and we've got two. <laughs> that is not very good, is it? I mean, I guess we could. We could send our guy there down to take on their king. But he would, probably would get attacked by that tower. He probably would get got by the tower. But then it would free up a it would free up a housing slot for us. Do we just want to keep him there? Or do we want to try and go and get a hit in on their king? Do you know what? Let's do that now. Let's send him down there. Let's see what he can do. If he could just go and just, you know, bop their king on the head a little bit with his sword. Just give him a gentle poke in the shins or something. That'll do the job. So there you go. See if he can cause any damage at all. If not... It'll free up a housing slot so we can get another person gathering wood or whatever. So, okay, yeah, we still, we need a lot. 16 is required. Right, the tower thing is firing at us. But I think we'll get round before. Yeah, look, I think we can get a shot on their king. I think we can get at least one hit, surely. He's running away, unsurprising. He's ran into a corner. Chop at him. Yes, we got one hit. We got another hit in, I think. Now, yeah, our guy is going to be defeated. He's being attacked by the uh, by the peasants and he's being attacked by the tower as well. But that's fine. That's fine. He's got one hit in, uh, hit in on their king, which is pretty good going. That's pretty good going. Their king is running up here. Hello. <laughs> it's a shame we haven't got more people. You're being driven this way. Come on. Come on. Get us a... Drive him toward our tower. That would do the job quite nicely. Can our king... Can our king go and hit their king? Can we have... <laughs> just a king fight? Yes. King versus king, and there's a warrior. Oh, one of their peasant guys is coming in to try and chop. Hang on a minute. Oh, this is this has got very silly. This has got very silly. I imagine the whole point of this was supposed to build, like, what were the knights and stuff? We could have yeah, had knights and stuff battling, but no, we've, <laughs> we've just got down the route of just getting their king, who's now backed himself into a corner. I think we might be able to chop him up. There we go. <laughs> we didn't need to build anything exciting at all. We just basically got their king, harried him out of his own kingdom, and then backed him into a corner in a wood. Okay, brilliant. Blue kingdom wins. Go, blue kingdom. So having defeated the other king, we now have to survive a goblin raid. It looks like there was a horde of goblins following the other king. Our scouts say that the goblins will be here in two minutes. Defend the king at all costs. Actually two minutes. Oh, there's a timer. There's a timer. Oh, crikeys. Okay, right. I'm not very good under pressure. Um, Right, hang on, hang on. Let's try and build. Can we build? What can we build? Can we have those towers again? We need uh, a tower shooting arrows. We need stone for that kind of thing. Okay, uh, king, 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 king. Go and grab lots of stone, please. I'm thinking if we can just build towers, we can just get some towers into play and then we can just hide in the middle of the towers. Build ourselves a little kind of, a little protective barrier of these and the goblins can come in. The thing is, we've only got 1 minute 28 seconds left. Um, hang on, hang on. Oh, no, don't, no, I didn't mean to do that. Go back there. Hang on. Right, get ourselves a house, because you need to drop off those resources. Get a house. Good. Okay, and now, um, hang on, in the house, get ourselves a worker, and the worker can also go and grab stone. Go and grab much in the way of stone. Right, how, uh, how much is it going to cost to build a tower? Uh, five wood and 10 stone. Yeah, so all we need to do, we just need to gather lots and lots of stone. That's all we need to do. So we're almost at the point where we can build ourselves another tower, which is quite handy. So we should get ourselves another tower in sooner rather than later. So boop, another tower has appeared. And now it's just a case of how much can they grab? We need to save, uh, hang on a minute, hang on, hang on. Another house is how much? How much is another house? 12. That will bring us down to 10. And a tower is five each. Build a house. Hello, house. Train a worker. Worker, go and grab stone. I mean, I possibly shouldn't have put the house just there because you're going to have to walk there. And time very much is of the essence. But there we go. Right, you go in and grab stone as well. Three people gathering stone. We can get two more towers constructed with the wood we've got. So, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bring in more stone. That's nine stone. One more. One more. Well, let's build one more tower, which would be wonderful. So, yeah, in it pops. Okay, splendid. Right, tower, tower, tower. Build another tower. Hopefully this can help defend us from goblins. I mean, how many goblins? What are, what are goblins like? Are they really good? Are they really fierce? Have they got bows, arrows, catapults? Who knows? I mean, in 13 seconds, we'll find out we're not going to get... We're not going to get five. Oh, no, hang on, hang on. We might just fluke this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bring us two more bits of stone. There is one. Oh, come on. We need one more. One more bit of stone before they come in. And boom. Right. Tower. King. Get into the middle. 
In fact, you know what? Everyone just get into the middle. Everyone just go and hide in the middle. And let's let the towers do their job. Yeah, the goblins are... The goblins are trying to come in and get us. But the towers... I, I don't really know what's going on. And I can't zoom in. There's an awful lot of stuff happening. I don't think our king is hurt. I think we've lost one of our people. And the goblins have killed one of our peasants. But I think the towers are doing a pretty good job of dealing with the goblins. Beautiful blue kingdom wins with a good old tower defense mechanism. Okay, wonderful. And level 2 2 is called preparing for war. Collect resources while surviving raids. Okay, how serious are these raids going to be? I don't know, but okay, let's have a go. We travel to fight the goblins head on. We should gather resources to prepare for the coming war. Make sure you have 15 of each resource. Beware of incoming goblin raids though. Ah, well we've seen what we can do against goblin raids. We can build towers. So yo, it's okay, don't you worry. So king, Grab some stone. If we can build three towers across there, I would be very happy with that. Right, let's get ourselves a house constructed. So we've got somewhere to drop the resources off. That also means we can build ourselves a peasant who can also grab some... Oh no, do we need some more wood as well? Grab some stone for now. How much is it to build another house? 12. So we are going to need... Do you know what, actually? Peasant guy. Peasanty peasant. You go and get... Oh, no, I just told the king to do that. King, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry, your highness. I thought you were a peasant. I didn't see the crown. You're taking it off for its, you know, its annual wash. There you go. Right, gather wood. Because then if we can get another house, we could put that, say, over there. That's 12 wood we need. But okay, that's fine. The only thing is, how, how often are these goblin raids going to happen? I kind of feel like we maybe need a tower. Just to help out a tiny little bit. Because otherwise it's going to be bad. We're going to be in trouble. I mean, do we put the tower next to that one? And when they try and come in, there's two towers next to each other that we can just sort out. You know, they can just fire at the goblins. I do not know. Right, King, you've gathered a good amount of wood. I kind of feel like I need to get back on the stone, actually, Your Highness. There you go. I called you Your Highness. Come on, we need two more stone. We can build a tower. And once the tower is in, I'll feel a little bit happier about defending against the goblins. Uh, yeah, there we go. Right, so... Get us a tower. We won't put it right next to that one, but there we go. So we've got ourselves a bit of defense. And the goblins have to kind of come in here, hopefully within range of the towers. Okay, right. Now everybody just go and get, get these trees cut down. Now we need some wood. So what exactly do we need for a house again? What was it? 12. 12. Okay. So now we need to get 12 wood. Then we can get an extra worker. Yeah, this is tricky because, yeah, it takes quite a lot of wood to get a, a house in. And you need the house to get the workers to then get more wood and all that kind of stuff. So we'll get a house in, get another worker in. Then what are we allowed to build? What have we actually got access to? Is it the same as before? So a little farm. Got access to a tower, obviously. Um, a workshop for creating cool things. I like the idea of a knight academy. I mean, the Mage Guild sounds great as well, but a Knight Academy just sounds very exciting indeed. It does need quite a lot of resources, however. It needs an awful lot of stuff going on. Uh, okay, so just there. I think we can build a house, finally. Ah, and some goblins are coming this way. Not ideal, but hopefully... Hang on, let's train a, let's train a peasant. Hopefully the towers can do the defending there. Yeah, they're going straight for the towers. I mean, what if we send our peasant in as well just do a little bit of hacking at them with an axe or whatever i think yeah one goblin seems to be dead and i think both goblins are dead yay yay for dead goblins okay wonderful the only thing is yeah we're low on everything now we need to have 15 of every resource we've got no gold two food five wood and two stone <laughs> resources are minimal as it stands right now. So yeah, we better try and improve on that a tiny bit. Okay, we have 16 wood. Let's get ourselves a house created over there. So we'll build a house. And then King, go and chop those trees, please. Because they're going to be nearer to that house. Because at the moment, they're wandering all the way in here to cut down trees. And wandering all the way back there. So it's a little bit slow. And now we've got an extra, um, an extra house. That means we should be able to create an extra... No, we haven't got enough people. Right, hang on a second. Enough food, sorry. So you, go and gather some berries, please. You gather us some berries, which means that then we can get four food in order to train up a new person. Because then we get a new person. One of you can go gathering some gold. The other one can go and get food again or stone or whatever. So we just need one more tiny bit of food. Some delicious berries. Everyone loves berries. Berries that look weird like chicken legs when you're counting them. But okay, it's fine. Right. Get that. Ah, right. Now there are multiple. I possibly shouldn't have built that person Possibly shouldn't have constructed this. Right, everyone get into the middle of the towers. 
run into the middle of the towers. I think our guy might be chopped to death a little bit. Uh, no, I think people have survived. The towers can carry on doing their wonderful defence work. I think one goblin's down. And the two towers can join together to fire at the goblins. So I think we should be okay. Fiery firing. And there we go. Sorted. Right. Back getting some food, please. And then the new one. That was a bit of a, <laughs> a rude welcome. Right. You go down there and uh, grab some stone. And if we can get ourselves 10 stone, that could be quite handy. In fact, you know what? We've got 20 wood. Right. Wood gathering people. Like the king. Right. You gather some stone. And where is the king? There you go. King. Gather some stone now, please. If we get ourselves another tower just there, that's a pretty good series of towers for defense. Ooh, okay. That's not your typical goblin. That's a big goblin. Hopefully the towers will be enough to distract that thing, <laughs> whatever it might be. I'm going to say it's a troll. Yeah, they're firing at it already, which is wonderful. Hopefully, as soon as it gets near enough, the other ones can join in as well. Yeah, absolutely loads of stuff coming in on it. Oh, it's being really hit quite hard. Okay, now what's it doing, however? Is it coming straight for the king? I suspect it might be. Right, king, it is your time. No, I've told him that's not the king. Hang on, where's the king? King, run away. A gigantic troll monster thing is there. And yeah, come around. Actually, king, come, come around. Yeah, come around this way. Come around this way, because it might be following you. You come around this way as well. And if we would sort of draw it toward the middle, all the towers can fire on it. There we go. I think it's killed some of our people, which is unfortunate, but okay. And one more hit. Come on, come on. One more hit. Not one more. There we go. Okay. Right. Food. Food is required. We're going to have to go and get a pig. You can go just there. Gather some gold. We are going to need to get a person, which does use some of our food. Right. You gather some gold. Okay. So this is what we need to do. We've got enough wood. We've got enough stone. We just need to now gather food, which the king is doing. <laughs> it seems a bit unseemly asking the king to go and do some, some you know, essential sort of butchery, if you like, from this, this sort of pig's corpse. He's the king. He shouldn't have to be doing this. However, he's gathering that very quickly. I mean, if he can get up to... If he can get up to another couple of bits... Hang on. Yeah, we've got space. So we can go into here. We could train ourselves an actual soldier and put the soldier up there as well. So when the goblins next do attack... We've at least got another form of defense. However, let's get the king now working on the gold because all we need is gold. That's all we need. Can we get enough gold before the next round of goblins come in and associated friends of goblins like trolls, or whatever that big thing was? I think they might get another attack in. Gathering gold is relatively slow, it seems, but we do have an extra person for defense now. So, oh, we might, we might just do it. We might just do it. There come in another three bits. We need one more bit of gold. Whoever finds the next bit of gold, they can keep it. You can keep it and treasure it forever. And boom. Okay. Make sure you've got 15 of each resource. Uh, we have 15 of each resource. We've got, we've got more with some of them. It doesn't mean 15 housing, does it? It can't mean 15 housing. Do we just need to survive another goblin raid? It can't mean 15 housing. That would be ridiculous amounts of wood. Okay, right. There's 12 bajillion. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Everyone run away. Everyone who isn't that poor knight who just got completely brutally mud. Oh, my word. Okay. There's a lot of them. Right. Where's the king? Where is the king? Everyone run up here. The king might possibly be being hurt a bit. King, run away. <laughs> the other people, they can help protect the king. You can help protect the king. Right. Try and draw them along here. Right, he can run through. I don't think... Oh, no, the king's getting got. The king's getting got. Keep running away, king. Keep running away. It's like a really terrible sort of conga line. Right, run down here. This is what we need to do. We need to work them near to the... Oh, the king's getting got. Work them near to the towers. Oh, one of the towers is gone. Oh, that probably doesn't help matters, does it? No, king, don't harvest resources. <laughs> it's not the time to be harvesting resources, my liege. <laughs> it's the time to be running away. People want to steal your wonderful crown, sire. Don't let it happen. Right, okay. Run down here. Don't let that arrow guy get you. Oh, I think he just missed. Run through the middle. Run through the middle so the towers can do some more work. I'm sure this is how this was supposed to be played. Running running around with the king. Right, get him coming over to the left. Looks like one of the goblins in the middle is going to get killed. Run back through. They're trying to take on the towers. So if we run here... Oh, one of the towers appears to have 
fallen down a tiny bit. That tower's trying to do its best, though. But these guys are chasing after the king. So run this way. Oh, oh. <laughs> he got a hit in on the king. I think he squashed the king. Okay, that, that didn't go entirely according to plan. Okay, so we're going to have another go. And this time, I think we'll focus our attention on just gathering lots of wood and lots of stone. Because that means we can build ourselves a great big load of towers. I don't think... I don't think we can get enough stuff in, in terms of troops, before the big kind of, the big raiding party appears at the end there. I'm not entirely sure how that can be done. There seem to be a lot of goblins and trolls and whatever else attacking us at the end. And I don't see how we can get enough defences in, in that time. But if we can just build loads of towers, because the towers just do require a bit of stone and a bit of wood, that's got to be a good thing. I mean, I'd love to go in and build a knight academy and all that kind of stuff, but I don't think that's going to work. So what have we got? We've got 15 wood. So that's pretty good. In fact, can we build ourselves? Can we get ourselves another house? Yes, we can. We get another house in, which is wonderful. Now with that house, do we want to get another person? Yeah, get another person. Oh no, we need some food. Oh, hang on a minute, your highness. Would you like to go and gather some berries, your highness? I'm sorry for getting you to do <laughs> such a demeaning task, but it's very important. If you could do that really soon, that would be great. So yeah, we'll grab ourselves a bit more food. Then we can grab some more wood. And then we can build ourselves at least one more tower. And I'm kind of thinking we just build them along here. We just build three, so one there maybe, one to block up that gap. Just try and get a massive network of towers in. So when the goblins come in, they have to fight lots and lots of towers. That's kind of, that's got to be better than just having individual people. It's really hard to get warriors and knights and stuff in because you need a house. So here we go. Right, two goblins coming in already. Uh, let's get ourselves, hang on, get ourselves a tower constructed right there. And that can start firing at. There you go, look. And both the towers can join in the fighting, which is wonderful. So there we go. I don't think they're going to be around too long. One goblin is dead. They can both fire on the other goblin. And come on. One more shot. Boom. Done. Right, okay. So round one done. Right, let's just gather loads and loads and loads of... Um, oh, hang on. Food-wise. Hang on. King. King, you don't need to do food anymore. Go and get stone. In fact, wood. Go and get wood. So let's just build a great big network of defence towers, if we can. Okay, here comes the first big test of our kind of wonderful tower defence grid just here. So seven towers. And the idea being that yeah, you have to walk down the middle and lots of towers can fire at them. It's one of the big kind of troll things. But they are getting an awful lot of hits in. Look at that. The towers just absolutely raining down arrows. And when they get hit, it seems to slow them down as well. Yeah, I think this is definitely the way to go. Look at that. There's, they're just they're going to have so many arrows sticking at them. Like a huge, big kind of pin cushion. And boom. They did not even get past this sort of third tower here. So that's wonderful. Right, okay, hang on a minute. Everyone's gathering way too much stuff. So we've got ourselves all of the stone we need. That's absolutely brilliant. So we've got plenty of stone. Now let's see if we can gather all the food we need. Then the wood then the gold and then yeah i'm not sure if we need to get the housing up to 15 out of 15. i think that would be a really hard thing to do to get 15 housing given it costs 20 wood to get a new house in is that about right how much is it to get a house nowadays 20 to get house number five in so by the time we get house number 15 it's gonna be like a thousand wood or something oh have we gone through all of the um ah okay that might be a problem um right okay everyone uh, go and get trees from down here, please. Where well, everyone else, go and do wood gathering. And that chappy there can go and slaughter a pig. Don't slaughter it too far away, though. No, don't slaughter it over there, because that means you've got to run out that way to bring all the meat back. And that's going to be... Yeah, that's it. Run it this way a little bit. Run it this way. Yeah, you missed. The pig's just there. And choppity chop. Yeah, this could be a bit of an issue, couldn't it? That pig is going to be incredibly far away from our gathering place so yeah we're gonna have to sort of get the food and then move it over it's gonna be a bit of a slow thing yeah that's gonna take forever that's gonna take an absolute age to get that food in okay we only need three more three more food and we should be okay and then we can just work on gathering gold okay here comes the big invasion here comes the huge invasion that we've struggled with in the past everyone's been ordered to just run out of the way so hopefully the towers can deal with everything so the towers are dealing nicely with the goblins. Where is, where's the king, however? I can't see where the king might be. There's the king. Okay, right. So keep the king safe. The towers seem to do their job. We built an extra tower as well, just, just in case. Right, run the king up this way, then run that way. Try and run back through the middle of these things. They can cause maximum damage to the trolls. Uh, I think our people might possibly get brutally murdered. Run away, people. Run away incredibly quickly. I think one of them is dead. 
Right, so the, the, the towers are doing the job, the arrow's going in, and boom, 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 one last troll to deal with. There we go, splendid. Right, okay, everyone get back to doing whatever it was you were doing. In fact, we're doing all right, we've got everything except gold. Everyone just go and grab gold. Uh, the only thing is we're doing to train up a new person, so you, right, go and gather some food from there. And then once we've done that, it's got to be done. It, it can't mean you need to build 15 housing. Because the, the amount of wood you require to build 15 houses is just, that's just a silly amount. That's just going to be really, really daft. So I assume that once we've done that and we've survived that big wave that we just had there, I assume when we've got the 15 gold in place and the 15 food and everything else, it will kind of end the level. It can't mean that we need 15 housing because that's just very silly. Oh, no, there you go. Blue Kingdom wins. It must have sort of rolled round to another trigger of when a goblin raid was going to happen. But because we had the required resources, it went, oh, let's not do a goblin raid. They've got the right amount of things. Okay, wonderful. Phew, I thought we were going to have to gather, you know, 3,000 wood or something. But okay, Blue Kingdom wins. I mean, that was quite tricky. That required a second attempt to do that. And I'm not entirely sure how you could do that without the towers. I don't know how you could do that by virtue of just building, you know, training up units, because it's really slow and difficult to get units. So that that was that was quite tricky, but okay, never mind, we have prevailed. So I think we've seen the campaign. Let's have a little look at the versus mode, shall we? Let's go into this and just have a look at what we can do. Here we go. So it's just like a skirmish mode, if you like. So it's just going to be us versus three computer players. And I have noticed that it says on the left there, we're the blue sort of bracketed sort of box there. It says humans. So okay, we're playing as humans, but there are seemingly other things that we can play as. I mean, I imagine we can play as the goblins because we've seen goblins, but what else can we play as? There are four playable kind of races in this, which is interesting. However, we've only got access to humans, so we're, okay, we'll have a go at playing as humans against other humans, I assume. And here we go. So here's us in the corner. Right, okay, immediately grab some, right, King, go and grab some stone. We could do with building ourselves a defense tower. We've seen how good they are at just, you know, dealing with people that might just wander in and try and kill us. So let's do that, and let's get ourselves a house constructed. You can take the stuff to the house. And then we'll train up a worker as well, immediately. And the worker can go and grab some food. In fact, no, the worker can cut down some trees, actually, thinking about it. So we can get another house to then get another worker to go and get some food. So we've got to build a little mini economy going on. I'm sure it'll be fine. How's everyone else doing? I like the fact that we can see all the other people. I like how we can see what they're up to. So they've got two houses already. How on earth have they got... They've got two houses as well. How have you done this? <laughs> How is that possible? Right, king, 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 king. Forget the stone for now then, forget the stone. It seems that everyone else has got extra houses and we've had, in fact, everyone else has got two houses, except us now, which makes me sad. Um, yeah, 12 wood is required. Come on, come on, here we go. That's the 11th bit of wood. I feel like we're on the, on the back foot already, but okay. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, there goes that. Right, grab that. So another house comes in. Another worker. Hooray! Right, we've joined the ranks of everybody else in the fancy housing. They've got a farm. They've got a farm down. Nobody else has got any extra buildings, but these guys do have a farm down already. I'd still like to get our tower in. I think that would be quite a good thing. Stick the tower right here as a bit of a sort of a frontier sort of outpost. I know they could come in this way, I suppose, but a tower just here, we're more likely to get attacked down this way. So a tower would be very useful. So we've got ourselves enough wood to build a tower. Right, everybody on the stone. Everybody focus on the stone over here. We need four more bits. And then, yes, we can build a tower. And then it'd be really good if we could get some decent stuff in. Like, yeah, I mean, a farm would be quite nice. A workshop sounds fun. Um, but yeah, like a, a, the Knight Academy would be brilliant. If we could get a Knight Academy in, I would think that would be amazing. But alas, we can't do it right now. But we can get our tower. Okay. I think we're the first to get a bit, bit of extra defense in, which is quite a good idea. So there we go. So we've got a tiny extra bit of defense, which is wonderful. Right, everyone's grabbing stone right now. Okay, I think everybody else maybe go back to gathering wood. Gather some wood. We could do with another house. Everyone's... Oh, no, the greens are on four out of four. The greens have got a population of four. So maybe we need to go to a population of four. Get ourselves some food. Food, I think, is a little bit low. We've only got two food now. We're no gold entirely. The king is distraught got no gold it's a no gold kingdom um yeah the others have got yellow have got loads of gold which I suppose befits their yellow sort of golden status but yeah if we could get ourselves another house um I mean, where to build it i can't remember in the middle somewhere but i mean how much is another house going to be now are they 15 or something now 16 yes yeah, so i've only got half the amount of wood we need come on come on come on come on 
Let's get this going. Let's get this going. That's 11. So two more trips to that tree should do the job quite nicely. And then we're going to have to kind of go over here. Maybe we build a house just here because there's plenty of wood over here. Um, yeah, these guys are quite lucky. Look, they're quite fortunate. They've got loads of trees next to them. I feel a little bit like us and the yellows, particularly us, have been a bit hard done by with the trees because they're surrounded by trees. They can just go and dig those trees forever. But yeah, we are... We've got a finite amount of trees up in this corner. So we need to build something just here, I'd say, as a drop-off point. Right, and then get... Right, hang on. Now we need... Where's the king? King, can you go and grab some berries, please? I, I know. I know it's berries. And I know you're the king, and you shouldn't be gathering berries. It's a little bit beneath you. But, you know, when times must... Okay, the king has done a wonderful job at gathering lots of food. We now have ten food which I think is probably going to be enough to get some extra knights in. Now, the only problem with this is that we get, yeah, we can build ourselves, say we can go, yay, right, we'll get ourselves a knight academy, but then we're going to need to gather a load of wood to get an extra bit of population, you know, to build a house to improve our population by one, to then get a knight trained. So this is going to take absolutely ages. This is going to take a long old time indeed. I noticed that um, the yellows are only our population of three, but the greens have actually got five people with a capacity for five, and the reds have got four people with a capacity for five. I feel like we might need to get ourselves another person in. 20 wood to build a house. Okay, fine, we'll do it then. Uh, right, can we have one more bit of wood, please? There we go. Um, right, pop that house up there. We'll train a new person over here. You go and grab some more wood, please. Okay, so plenty of gold is being gathered. So what are we getting? We're on 40, right, king. Go and grab some stone, if you would be so kind now. Because that's what we're going to need. And then a load of wood. And then we're going... Oh, no. Hang on. Can we can we delete a... Can we remove a peasant? I've just realised that we don't need... Okay, we'll have the extra peasant for this purpose. For gathering resources. And then maybe we'll pick a sacrificial peasant to just go wandering into enemy territory to free up a population spot so then we can get ourselves a knight. Because we can't build another house. That's 24 wood on top of the 15 wood that we need to actually build the Knight Academy in the first place. So, yeah. Okay, this is fairly slow going. It's fairly slow going. But so far, there's been no combat between anybody. Although... Oh, hang on. I just heard something. Oh, that might have been people attacking a pig. Um, the reds and the greens are getting pretty close. The reds and the greens are getting very near to each other. There's a few trees here. But then, yeah, if that tree goes down... There's a bit of a path through there to them. Oh, what's that? What's that thing? Is that a wizard? That's a wizard. Yeah, they've got a wizard tower as well. They've got a wizard tower and they are lobbing... Whatever that was. A gigantic kind of basketball or something. <laughs> These guys. Oh. Okay, right. They've got... They've got kind of troops. Military troops. Okay, fine. Um, ah, right. Okay, so wood gathering peasants. Go and gather stone now. Stone is now absolutely required for us to get this um, knight academy in. And then we need to train a knight as well. So it's, yeah, this is this is fine. It's all fine. It's all going to plan. A terrible, bad plan that was awful, but it's a plan. Right, I think, yes, knight academy can go in. Now, here we go. Here's the, <laughs> here's the thing. What can we build? We need eight food and eight gold and a space of housing. Uh, a squire becomes a knight when another dies. And the royal guard, knights become royal guards. Oh, they sound exciting. However, whatever the case, we need some food. So where are you? You there. You can go and grab some food from here, please. In fact, can everyone just go grab food? Yeah, everyone just go grab food from this bush. All of the people stock upon food, please. We need a lot of food. Um, And then gold. I mean, yeah, we could just get that night. So we've got... Oh, there you go. Right, we've got enough food. So now we just need actual capacity. So who's going to be the unlucky person <laughs> that goes through here? Um, no, you're the king. No, you 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 don't go and do that because that would be foolish. You go and chop down a tree. In fact, get gold. Get some gold. Right, you. I'm really sorry. It can be you. Would you like to take a trip down here? Doesn't it look fun over in the yellow territory? Yay for the yellows. And you can wander in and hopefully that thing will fire at you. In fact, do you know what? Should we just try and have a go at their king? Just have a go at their king. If we can get to the king, then great. If not, then it doesn't really matter. I'm not bothered. No, we're just going to stand around the tower for some reason and die. Right, okay, good. So we've died. <laughs> not good for the person who died. Right, eight food, eight gold. Hang on, how much is it to do this thing? Ten food, twenty gold. And it costs eight gold. If we can get... Hang on, if we can get... 
if everybody could focus on gathering gold, everyone go and grab, hang on, grab all the same gold bits. There we go. Go and grab gold. Could we then upgrade to whatever that thing was? Fancy knights, whatever it said. What was it? Royal knights? Royal guard. Knights become royal guards. We need 20 gold for it. So we could do that right now. So do that. No, that pauses the game. <laughs> not, not that. That button. That button there. And then go into there. Yes, we need eight gold to get ourselves a royal knight. Well, they sound like quite a good thing to have. Eight, eight, and one. We have ourselves a royal knight. Okay, can you go down here and chop the yellow king in half, please? Because that would be good. You're a bit slow, but okay. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Right, gathering some more gold. This is good. Then we might need to go and gather some more food. Um. Okay, yeah, he's, he's going after the king. He is running after the king as best he can. He's chopping up the... The opposition, yeah, look at that, the yellow sort of workers just being absolutely, <laughs> they're just being carved in half. Um, however, he is struggling to, uh, yeah, he's not attacking the king exactly, is he? Why are you not attacking the king? Uh, I don't know why he's not going in for the king. Ah, maybe he can't reach the king. Maybe he can't actually physically get to the king when he's down there because he's blocked in by houses and rocks and things. Oh. Okay, right, hang on. Everyone else, go and grab stuff from here. Apart from one person who can... Can we build a farm? A farm, yeah, five wood. Somebody go and build a farm, please. Whoever that's going to be. Is that going to be the king? Oh, the farm's already in existence. However, let's get... Uh, let's get... Oh, hang on. Who's going to be working on the farm? Nobody's working on the farm. You go get wood. You can go get some stone. You can, you're a knight, that's fine. The king, the king can go and work on the farm <laughs> because that's becoming of a king. Um, and then you can go and get some stuff over there. Yeah, why can't we go and, yeah, right. Now go down here. Yeah, they just sort of run around the corner, don't they? They run around here. Can we go and attack their house? Do we need to attack that building? Is that what we need to do? Take it out. So their tower thing will fire at us. But we're a golden shiny knight, for goodness sake. We should be able to uh, We should be able to put up with that. In fact, can we just get their king now? Can we just chop at their king? I think we have to take out their buildings first. So I think we have to damage this building. We are taking some damage. Right, there we go. And now we can run down and get their king. Yes, yeah, so they kind of blocked themselves in. Okay, right. So where are you going? Because their king is just there. If you would like to go and chop their king apart... While he stood in a corner where he can't escape. That would be grand. Why do they take so long to have a shot? What are you guys doing? Just go and punch the king in the noggin. Look, the king is literally just here. He's at the bottom. You could take a strike at him. Okay, right. The knights seem very slow. Okay, there's a, there's a mage behind you. Can you at least chop at the wizard? You are being killed. Right, okay, okay. A knight has died. A knight was fairly pathetic, to be fair. We'll get another knight... Maybe it's time to go in armed with two knights and just see how we get on there. So we can build another house now, I believe. So we can get another house in. So, okay, we can have our population increase. Can we get another knight? Yes, we can, because we're getting a lot of food from our farms at the top there. And we've built extra farms. So now we've got two knights. So can we run down here with both of our knights and, and attack their king now? Or at least do something down here. Do some damage to Yellow Kingdom. The knights seem really weird before. They just sort of wandered around, not really doing anything. They seem very ineffectual. Given that we spent loads of money on these things, I would like to think that maybe, maybe we'd be able to kill them. Ah, their wizardy things are properly just beating us up. And we just sort of stood there, not doing anything. Can we go... I don't understand. <laughs> go and kill them. Why can't you go and kill them? Yeah, I don't fully understand what's going on there. I'm a bit confused. Can we at least chop at them? Oh no, that's a worker. I've told a worker to do that. Hang on, no. You go and do that, night face. It's your job. Ah, the wizards come out. Okay, come on. We must be able to go and chop a wizard in half. Wizards are notoriously weak when faced with a great big knight. So if you could chop the wizard's legs off or something, that would be grand. And boom, the wizard is dead. Okay, I mean, our knight is almost dead, but we'll try and cause a bit of damage to some of their stuff down here. We'll try and chop their houses up, but their king's come out. The king has come out. Go and get a good hit on their king, knight face. Yes. Bring him up here. Bring him this way. Ah, oh, he's going to run back that way. He's going to run back that way. Yeah, our knights are painfully slow. <laughs> Look how slow they run. We've got plenty of resources. Is it worth building a magic guild? Because everyone else seems to have a magic guild and I feel a bit left out. So 
Let's build ourselves a magic guild. Okay, what do we do with wizards? We can build a magic relic. Mage is doing lots of damage, needs gold and food. And to create a wizard just is a food. Oh, crikey. Right, much is required in the way of food. It would make sense to get that thing done. The magic relic. So let's try. And we've got easy access to gold over here now. Oh, I've just told somebody to go and stand in a tree. Right, hang on. Uh, you go and grab that. And then you, when you've put that wood over there, go and grab some gold. Because there's gold just here. Oh, our knight appears. Hang on, we had, we had a knight just there. Trained up a new knight. He's kind of wandered off into the middle of this territory over here. What's he chasing? He's chasing after their king. Is he chasing after their king? Um, no, I don't think he is. He is going to get himself killed, however. <laughs> you silly man. Yeah, look, he's just wandered down here. I assume one of their sort of peasants, whatever, strayed too close to us and he then decided to go and kill him. Brilliant. Good job. Well done. That, that, that's very impressive. What a good tactical maneuver. However, there is a fight going on over there. The reds and the greens are at war. They are fighting each other. Okay, right. Can we get the magical thingamajig? Magic relic. Uh, I summon you. Okay, we have a magic relic. Yay for the shiny thing. And then we can get a wizard. Okay, we have ourselves a little wizard type person. Hello, wizard. I mean, do want to go down the route of just having loads of wizards? <laughs> Would that be better? And then we've got 24 wood, so we could get ourselves another farm and then another farm just grab loads of farms and the king is just wandering around harvesting the food from those farms we gather loads of gold from there and then we just have you might need some more wood actually if we get another house oh hang on hang on hang on when we've got eight wood we can have another wood no, eight wood eight food we can have another wizard how about one of you guys is gathering gold go and grab some food instead let's try and hurry up our food production and then, yeah, can you, wizard, can you just attack these plebs that are just out here now? Can you just kill them? Yay! Okay. <laughs> and then can you attack that house from range? You don't do a lot of damage, do you? But you're sort of, you're wearing it down. You're wearing it down. And then, nope, wrong building. If we then do this and create another one of those just there. Oh, hang on. Hang on. He's firing at us. How rude. Do you know what, though? There's going to be two of us in a minute. So, boom. Okay, we're gathering quite a bit of gold. Maybe we should go back to gathering wood and then oh no our wizards are getting drawn into a fight hang on no 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 right kill you and you wizard you come down here and kill oh crikey you come down here and kill that one as well i think our other wizard might die we've lost a wizard okay but we now have the advantage on this wizard so we can just lob wizardy things at you there we go wizarding is happening that wizard seems quite content to just <laughs> stand there and die okay we're gonna take down another one of their wizards boom okay so come back this way. The only thing is we've obviously lost one of our wizards. So create another wizard. Can we use both of our wizards to get at their king? Or do we have to now knock something down? I mean, we can blow this house up. Where's the other wizard? Other wizard, go there. Yeah, so two wizards target this house. Blow this house apart. That'll cause them some problems. So let's get rid of that. I mean, it's taking a while. The wizards, yeah, they're really good because yeah, they can do things from range. But they are a bit sort of slow at doing stuff. Right, you go and attack and you go and attack. So both of you attack this enemy wizard if that's not what you're doing already. All of you focus attentions on the enemy wizard who should be dead momentarily. Oh, and the tower was firing as well, which is good. Right, get the wizards back on on that, attacking that. Oh, their king is there. Hang on a minute. Attack their king. Go and get the king. Go and get their king. One good shot. <gasps> the yellow kingdom is gone. The yellows are gone. We just took down the yellow king. <laughs> we just sort of, he just sort of wandered out and we just sort of got him. Oh, okay. I mean, that's quite good. Okay, that's good. Right. How much does it take to build another house? Uh, 28 wood to build another house. 28 wood. Here's an experiment we could try. If we put one of our wizards up there, one of our wizards there. Why is our wizard refusing to move? Right, wizard. Come this way, if you'd be so kind. Why did they not want to move up there? They seem to struggle with the idea, with the, the very preposterous idea that we should ask them to move somewhere. So if you go up here, can you shoot through the trees at things? That's what I'm wondering. If those baddies there, because their king keeps coming that way. So can you shoot at them is what I'm thinking. If somebody comes on the other side of this tree, are you going to fire at them? Hang on, if you go up here... Can you then, ah, right, no, 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 they're tower, they've got archers, they've got archers, our wizard, he got, oh, they've got, they've got military people. Okay, okay, right, hang on, hang on. 
get the other wizard up here. We have some towers as well to hopefully defend. Right there, look. Fire there. Fire there. Where's our king? Our king's doing the, the king's doing the gardening. It's fine. Right, so wizard, fire it there, knight guy. Okay, so boom and boom and another one. Boom. Okay, I think that are they chopping us apart? Or is he just that stood still there? He just chilling out over here. As are those archers. Okay. <laughs> right. I mean, maybe, maybe the AI needs a little bit of a tweak, but I mean it's fine for us. We'll just pick these guys off. And I think we've lost a worker somewhere on the way, but that does mean that we can get some more fighty people. So, okay, right, let's go up here and let's get another wizard as well. Let's just train up a massive load of wizards. We just have a load of wizards to go around and cast spells at people and hopefully kill everybody. Right, so that's that done. So if we go up here, if we get our wizard squad. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. You go to there and you go up here. Does that mean we can start firing at people over here? Like, can we reach their king or anything? How good are our mage... What's our mage range? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. You can move into there. And are you going to start lobbing things at people as they come near? I imagine you are. Or not, because you don't care. Okay. Yeah, they've got a knight trained over there. They've got a knight. But if their king comes this way, what's their king doing? Oh, their king... Their king's doing what our king's doing. They're doing a spot of farming. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. There we go. Yeah, we are firing at them when they come in range. And now they're going to send one of their fighter people in. And we can move in and have a bit of a fight with this guy. He's possibly going to chop us up a bit. Yeah, we shouldn't really get into close quarters with him, should we? But he is dead. Okay. Oh, hang on. Their king's right there. Their king is there. Kill the king. <gasps> the Red Kingdom have gone. Because their king wandered next to a load of wizards. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, this makes life a bit easier. So now we can move you in, and you, and then... Uh, no, the selecting of the troops is a bit strange. I'll, I'll say that. Right, so get you, put you there. So they've got a lot of towers. They have an awful lot of towers, which is very sensible from them. But we are gathering a lot of food, so when our wizards die, we can just go and replace them again. So can we take down a lot of these towers? Can we just use our mages? I know they'll get some hits in our notes, but if we can fire just a couple of shots at the towers, yeah, they're going to fire back and that's fine. But if we can just bombard these things, just keep going, keep going. Yes, look at the damage they're causing. They're causing hardly any at all. <laughs> okay. Right, the wizards are slow. They're slow but effective. They're getting there. They're getting there. They are taking some damage, but yes, we can replace them nice and easily. They don't seem to have any troops of any kind. They've got plenty of towers, which I admire. I like that. Uh, oh, they are being chopped up a little bit by... Hang on, there's a guy in front of you. Do you want to, do you want to target that guy? No? Yep, you're just going to just gonna get a bit murdered there. A little bit murdery. Hang on, kill kill the guys in your face, wizard dude. And are we going to be able to kill him? I think he might get the next hit in. Boo. Okay, no, we've killed him. I think we'll die from the tower, though. Okay, but do you know what? Never mind. Now, do we want to get ourselves a fancy knight? So move you to there and then get ourselves another fancy knight. Move you to sort of over there. And can we even get another fancy knight? Three fancy pants golden knights. Right, let's get them over there into position. And we'll try and move down here and take out some of these towers. So yeah, the arrows are going to fly in, but hopefully our knights will be able to do some good damage to these towers. In fact, that tower has been completely annihilated, and now they're just going to sort of stand still. <laughs> Knights, go and attack the towers. What do you think you're supposed to be doing? <laughs> go forth and kill these towers. There we go. Right, run down here and take this one out. Hopefully these three... Hang on, what's that king? Why is our king coming down here? No, our king. That's a terrible idea. Uh, yeah, go down and get the towers. You go and get the towers... Everyone should be down here blowing up this tower. There's like a catapult or something just there as well. Can we kill that thing? Can we just run in and kill everything? You're a bunch of knights. Go in and do the killing of the things for the kingdom and what have you. Yeah, come down here. Where is their king? Can we see where their king is? Their king is down there right in the corner. But if we take out the towers, if we do good work to take out the towers, I'd like to think, hang on, you're, this knight here is just trying to kill a peasant. Don't worry about the peasant. You're also trying to kill a peasant. Why don't you just go and kill the... Why are you not knocking down the towers? That's the, I've only asked you to do one thing. Right, hang on. You 
Choppity chop that guy up, actually. There's a guy there. There's a, like a sort of soldier guy. You kill him, which should be pretty easy because you're a fancy knight and he's just a regular sort of soldier guy. So you chop him up. Right, tower goes down. We've still got all our knights. That one is deciding that you're, the best thing to do is just stand still and not do anything. Brilliant. You try and take down the mage tower thing so they can't do anything like that. Right. You, where's the other knight? You there, go to there. Let's try and take this tower, because this tower is shooting at you, chappies. It is shooting at you, trying to kill you in the face. So you go over to here. Come over here, take out the tower. Once the towers are done, we can then just go to town on the rest of them. So when that tower blows up, brilliant. Okay, yeah, let's go and just, you know, kill some people. You've got some stone. You will go knock down the knight building. I think this might be ours. I think victory is ours for the taking. Do you know what we could do? Let's build another house. Can we get another knight? Yes, we can. <laughs> Let's just very slowly. Will, will that guy even make it there in time? I'm not sure. For some reason, they're trying to chase after one person. This poor, this poor guy just frantically running away. Right? He's had his head chopped off. Okie doke. You go and kill that guy. Dead. Go and take the farm down. I mean, we could. Oh, hang on. Hang on. They've, they've decided to actually deploy some troops. We should possibly go and kill those troops. Hang on a minute. Yeah, look, they're, they're, they've decided to fight back. How very dare they? <laughs> Don't they know that we were going to win this imminently? How rude. Uh, yeah, their king is there. I mean, we could. We could just go and get their king. We could yeah, just go and finish the whole thing off. But it is quite fun just pegging them back to the point where they've got you know, very little else to do. Yeah, their king is up there. No, come on, come on, come on. Just go and chop their king apart, please. He's clearly a troublemaker. He's clearly a baddie. And look at his crown. It's nowhere near as shiny as ours. I mean, our crown is magnificent. His crown is not even anywhere near as wonderful. The only problem is the king is, he's quite agile as the king. He's quite nippy. And and we are not. <laughs> we, we are very slow. <laughs> so we're just taking forever to kind of do any of this stuff. Can you just kill that guy, please? There we go. Right, come down here. Let's see if we can get the king. Everybody focus on the king. <laughs> it's taking ages to get him. Hang on a minute, hang on. Build another house, because now we've got 12 bazillion bits of wood. Get a wizard. Let's get a wizard in to shoot him from range. Because the knights are struggling. The knights are kind of all chasing after him in a sort of comedy fashion. <laughs> Somebody needs to deploy the Benny Hill music at this point. But I think, yeah, the wizard can get a good shot in. The wizard can get a shot in. I love the fact that the king then just decides to just go and grab some berries. <laughs> oh no, I'm being chased. I better run for my life. Ooh, berries. No, come on. Come on. Wizard. Wizard, one good shot. If you'd have gone down there, you could have sort of boxed him in. There we go. And it's all over. Blue Kingdom wins. I mean, I think we were quite fortunate in that. I think maybe the, the one against the yellows was okay, but the one against the reds was a bit silly. The red king just wandered right next door. We've got a load of wizards stood there. But there we go. Blue Kingdom wins on one of the sort of the versus skirmish sort of maps. So there we go, that was Kingpins, and that was a lot of fun. I've enjoyed playing Kingpins. I mean, really, it is just a proper classic real-time strategy game, but with a bit of a twist, because it's got all the stuff in it that you would expect from an RTS, like gathering food and providing housing for your troops and your people and all that kind of stuff. But yes, it's got that lovely sort of cartoony, pixely, cute sort of twist to it. And yeah, I enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. I've had a nice time playing Kingpins. I mean, maybe, maybe it is a little bit clunky at points, controlling your people, moving them around the place. And um, yeah, sometimes the AI did seem a little bit baffled by things. There was that point in the sort of the versus game where there was a, an AI soldier and AI uh, ranger is it that just let our wizards just fire at them and kill them while they just sort of stood there being a bit confused but you know I mean it's fine it's fine for what it is you know it's never going to be a massive in-depth sort of you know proper strategic sort of uh, mega game it's just a fun little sort of thing that you pick up and you play and it's all bright and cheerful and lovely and all that kind of stuff so yeah I've had a lot of fun with this hopefully you did enjoy watching if you did please do leave a like that would be most marvellous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other stuff that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. The City of Cupboard, it can be full of geeks, very loyal geeks to me. It's this sort of stripy hill. That's interesting. Oh, stripy mountain. Sorry, I, I downgraded you to a hill. Just really irritate the Norwegians. Everyone had gold. People were lying on beds of gold. They were eating gold. They were trying to wash their hair with gold. There was gold literally everywhere in our empire.